Greetings ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video. Now I just want to apologize really quick and say for the record that uh you know I am feeling fine now and you know I do want to apologize once again for missing that video last week but I just needed to take some time. You know with all the virus stuff going around I, even if it's just something minor like what I was suffering from which was abdominal pain I just want to hop on that early and address it then. Just to be safe, you know. But getting on to the video, what I have to talk about is kind of involving the uh, crisis that we find ourselves in. And it's the fact that even amidst a crisis, we still have some individuals whose main desires are to make profit. As we will find out with this said person that I am referring to, this amazing individual was responsible of clearing out 17 plus thousand bottles of hand sanitizer and had planned to resell them at a higher price online. I will link the article in the description so that you can see for yourself. I believe I also linked it in the community tab, but nevertheless, if you didn't see it, I'll link it in the description. Now, if you're wondering how much would this person have sold them at, allow me to tell you this, ladies and gentlemen. This young man, well, he's not young, but this man was planning to take these bottles of hand sanitizer, like, you know, the really small ones, about, like, 59 milliliters is, I believe, the um, amount of the average ones. He planned on reselling those as high as $70 per, per bottle for those 59 milliliter ones, $70. Now, before anyone says anything about capitalism, please refer to the to the uh, post in my community tab. You'll find that I do not subscribe to any labels of any kind, so I really do not want to hear, you know, social politics and ideologies in this video. That is not the purpose of this video. What this video is about is the fact that an individual, knowing the fact that there is a pandemic, took it upon himself to hoard all of these materials to resell them you know, playing on the panic of the world. But it gets better because when asked if he felt any remorse about his actions, after a long pause, he stated, and I quote, no, I don't think that I would. Which brings us to a bit later after this article and whatnot went viral and making headlines in multiple, <clears throat> excuse me, multiple mainstream as well as third party websites. It seems as Matt here, which is the guy, forgot how insane people on the internet are. Which brings me to a disclaimer that I want to state right now. I do not approve of this kind of behavior in the slightest, that what people did at all. I do not approve of this no matter. Despite what he did, what people did was a whole nother level. So let me just explain what they did. Due to the fact that we are in the day and age of the internet, people were able to figure out where this guy lived and doxed his info. So not only did he get the backlash of obviously, you know, the the comments and whatnot, blowing up his Twitter, bunch of dislikes, hate, all that good stuff, but people actually showed up to his house. You know, like, the backlash was justified. I get that, folks. That was justified. But people actually started showing up to his house either to scare him or actually cause physical harm. Now, he was interviewed again later on after he had decided to donate all of these bottles since he couldn't resell them. And he stated later on that now he feels remorseful. Hmm, I wonder why. And apologizes to anyone that he might have caused indirect harm or issues to as a result of his actions. He went further on to state that after the said events took place, he moved... And he now fears for the safety of his family, which is quite understandable considering what just went down. That's basically the article summarized, but this is going to bring me to the rant section of this video, which is the mentality that is involved so apparently in uh, today's world. You know, this may have been brought to the light and was made, and it was made public and this made headlines and whatnot. But what Mr. Matt Colvin did was nothing new. He took an event and saw a way to make money and tried to do so. 
And, you know, we see this happening all the time. We see banks do this, the medical industry, and even in gaming with microtransactions, you know. But here's a problem that I, I, I see and I want to address. You know, it's one thing to raise the price for something that's literally, like, you know, meaningless. Like, that's how people are duped into, like, spending $300 on a single pair of shoes simply because there's a check on them. You know, and they only took 20 to 30 bucks to make. However, they're paying, you know, 300 bucks just for that one pair of shoes. That is not worth it in the slightest. But it's a whole nother thing to take a global panic of something as serious and life-threatening as a pandemic and then use that as an opportunity to make income off of the fear of people. You know, it wounds my very essence to see the fact that there are always people who do not care how they get to the top and will step on however many people they can to do so. You know, I highly speculate that the reason why people are hoarding all of these materials, like we, we know about, we see the jokes about them, like no toilet tissue, no cleaning supplies, no bleach, like n nothing, right? You want to know why I think people are hoarding all these materials? Because they're going to do exactly what uh, Mr. Colvin did. I'm sure of it, you know? You don't find toiletries and necessities because people are going to try and hoard this stuff, resell it online, and price gouge the heck out of people so that they can make money. The only thing that is to um, really take note of here is that Mr. Colvin got caught. But these people, I guarantee you that they are trying to do the exact same thing. But I just hope, let's just hope for all of our sakes that if they attempt to do so, that they will be met with the same thing. You know, for trying to be shady and whatnot. Except for the whole doxing and whatnot. I do not approve of that in any way, shape, or form. And I just want to say for the record again, like, this is a, kind of another disclaimer. Please do not go after Mr. Colvin. Okay, like, do not attack this man and send death threats and whatnot, you know. I don't approve of what he did, nor do I approve of what the people who went to his house and whatnot did. And the death threats and whatnot, like, just, just leave the man alone, you know. The guy has already suffered the consequences of his actions. And he has enough to worry about right now. And considering the bad publicity that he has gotten, if he does indeed try to do something, like, with business or whatnot, his reputation is going to come into play. So, what's done is done already. He's already faced the music. So, just please, leave the man alone. So, with that being said, that is going to conclude this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Once again, please do not go out of your way to bother him and whatnot. And please do not, you know, do what these kinds of people do and dox people's infos when, like, you know, they do something that you don't like. We should never try and start putting people's safety at risk simply because they did something that we did dislike, you know. No matter how much of a scumbag that person is, we, you're not going to be much better if you're doing stuff like that. So as always, rate the video what you think it deserves. Tell me what you want to see in the future in the comments below. Feel free to check out my Amino. It will be linked in the comments as well as my BitChute linked in the About Me page of my channel. And I will see all of you in the next video. Take care.